Hello, everybody. So, we are playing Ogre Battle March of the Black Queen. However, I would like to say that we are playing a mod of it called In the Lap of the Gods, which changes a ton of stuff. Um, enemy formations, uh, different classes, different abilities, different lots of stuff. Um, it got rid of a lot of items. Um, overall made the game much, much harder, which um, it desperately needed. Um, so uh, that is what we're going to be doing. And uh, one of the things that I did beforehand was test out um, different characters as far as figuring out... Um, Uh, in the original, I believe your character got one AoE attack in the back and then three, uh, two physical attacks in the front, which um, was just kind of crappy the whole game. In this one, um, not only did they add a new class, which uh, does Nova in the back, which is a fire attack. Um, there's two, two attack. Uh, there's um, two classes for your leader that are kind of in the middle. One is more of a physical character that does swath in the back and then three attacks in the front. Another one is a character that does three attacks in the front but Nova in the back. Twice. The, um, the character that does... Um, uh, I would say... Um, the most holy character so to speak, and I can show you, because I've I, I got three of them. Um, I haven't been able to get the evil one. I've really tried, but um, it's really hard to get the evil character. Uh, the good one does Banish three times in the front, and Niflheim in the back, which is like an ice cloud kind of thing. Um, I'm going to basically see if I can be like a warrior, um, and if I can't, I'll just load the game that where I did become a warrior, but... And I, I should uh, I should reiterate this game is exceptionally hard. Even the beginning level, not the first level, but the second level, um, is <sighs> every single map requires a great deal of planning. It's uh, it's insane. So we're gonna have some difficulties, um, and. I have played this before. I've never completed it because I kind of would get tired of it. But um, uh, the only thing I would say is I'm, I'm usually not a fan of overall cheating. But we are playing on a console. And I think the only thing I might want to do is give myself an extra sword to finagle things so that I can get one character um, that I normally wouldn't be able to get otherwise. But besides for that, we should be okay. Um, there's a lot of luck involved in this game as well. Um, certain things like liches and werewolves and whatnot require certain items. And uh, if you don't... Um, if you don't find them early, you are kind of in trouble. Um... Well, we'll get into a lot of it as we go through it, but I'm going to try and get my, uh... It's a cause for your defeat. So destiny means... I think that's the good good one. Military strength would be the bad one. Leadership, I think, would be the, uh, the warrior. We want to do something. We want to pick things that are not bad, but also not good, almost more neutral. What do you wish for? Luck for your army is the good one. The victory is the selfish one. Bravery is... The leader, the military one, I think. We're standing in front of a mirror, which is your best trait. What is shown in the mirror? This is easy. 
physical strength. Okay. And that one might seal the deal for it. For a battle, you drink a parting toast with your comrades. How full is your glass? Man, I'm not sure. Let's do half full. Almost better to pick the middle, the moderate option. I don't want them to be too pious. What kind of potion do you create? Poison, evil, wealth, selfish, ah, fuck, let's do immortality. Okay, so, decrepit mother, beautiful lover, your child, uh, this is the selfish one, man, I don't know, let's do child, Is not a bad one. All right, let's see which one we got. Oh, good, we got the uh, okay. We got the good guy. Oh fuck, never mind. This isn't the. Never mind. That's not what we wanted. <sighs> All right, well. I'm going to show you a couple of other options, so... So this is, uh... Um... The warrior. He's got Slice and he's got Swath. He comes with a Deanna. Which is probably not the best choice for us. Um... Three attacks is good, but it's just she just does not scale well. Obviously, like getting me a muse is better for clearing, doing damage. And even here's the thing: even if we're not trying to, well, we'll get into strategy later. But um, so we're gonna save this one at one. But I'm gonna show you a couple others if I can find it. Oh. Never mind. That's that guy. Here's the other one I was able to get. He's he's similar. He's uh, he's a little bit like just a little bit less uh, good than the um, than the warrior. And instead of more intelligence and strength, he's more into agility. And he, but he does Nova from the back, which isn't bad. Um, it's 58, 60, 55, yeah, this guy's got a little bit better stats. Um, I think the alignment, the charisma, and the luck are influenced by the tarot cards a little bit, but I'm not sure. Um... So a couple things to talk about in this game for those who haven't played. Um, alignment is basically how good they are. Are they a good person or a bad person? Charisma is more tied to their leadership. And basically everybody that in this game that gets promoted will need to have a charisma above 50. Um, and some of it will need to be higher. Uh, some people like uh, mages or wizards, if you try to use them too much early on, their charisma and their alignment will fall if their level gets too high and they kill too many people. Um, and then they won't be able to upgrade into mages. And then they won't be able to upgrade into sorcerers and liches and so on. So managing charisma and alignment are important. Alignment goes up when you fight people stronger than you or when you kill things like the undead or black knights or evil people. And it goes down when you kill people that are weaker than you or that are holy. Charisma goes down every time you retreat, which is a problem because there's gonna be a lot of retreating. Um, uh, 
And I think a big thing we're going to have to do is plan out our army. We're going to get a ton of uh, characters in this that uh oof a ton of characters that are um they're gonna need their own units um or they're gonna come with units and uh organizing everybody into different things that we need is gonna be very problematic uh it's just gonna be a dicey dicey situation, but it's one of the best things about this game is planning out unit structures. Um, in the original game, golems were absolutely worthless. In this game, they're actually pretty decent. Octopuses can become krakens, and they're just beasts in the water, like insanely powerful. Um, uh, everybody's got their own uh, niche, so to speak. And you want a good balance of bad units, good units, uh, different groups of damage so that you can actually be effective so uh as far as plans for the game honestly the goal was just going to be to try to complete it it may not look like a big map but there are a ton of missions that will eventually show up on here and um yeah um we're going to do the castle of warren first Let's see how it goes. And I, um, in the past, I've done save scumming to get the best, um, to get the best buried treasures, so to speak. I'll do an example. And you can push tab at some times to make the uh, game go a little bit quicker. Um, For right now, specifically, um, since there's no enemies on this map, this is just a tutorial mission. I can push tab to make things go fast and see what kind of buried treasure we get. And Biak. Five strength, ten intelligence, physical and ice reduction. That's not a bad item, but... It's always different, so as an example, if I was to go back and press tab and do this again... Oh. Never mind. Let me just try something else. Um, just for experimentation's sake. There's another one right here. Malachite. And I think now this is going to be um, a different item. I think that's like an ice sword. Now, if I go back over here... Bugle! Strength, intelligence, and physical resistances, overall plus 21. That's not a bad item. Um, that'd be good, I'd say, for something like a Valkyrie. Or, um, intelligence increases your magic resistance, strength increases your durability, and then, of course, physical reduces or increases your durability as well. So, both of those are decent items. Um, but anyway, so, like, if I was playing by myself, I would kind of save scum to get uh, certain items, like... Uh, Specifically, items like the, um, oh, what is it? Um, uh, there are four swords that are related to the, uh, the North Winds, and they're important and necessary for the, uh, the best ending. But, I would say... We're going to have this go a little bit faster. There, it's going faster. Uh, you can find some of those swords in the, uh, in the game as far as just through gameplay. 
but some of them, I'm not sure which ones, uh, are basically random drops, and it's just all luck as far as whether you get it. Okay, tarot cards are like things that can help you in battles. And in the original game, you get tribute from each town and collect money. In this game, uh, in this mod, they've gotten rid of it so the deployment doesn't count as far as money. Go, Destin, go. And I have mixed feelings as far as doing the save scumming thing to get better items. Honestly, from my perception, uh, oh. oh, this game is, it's, it's just great because they made it actually difficult. You're a ragtag group of, you know, fighters trying to fight an entire empire. It makes sense that they would have much better units, uh, stronger compositions, um, and that it would take you some time to get your shit together. Um, but that being said, it's very difficult, and um, I've played before where I've given, you know, certain characters that, according to lore, have certain weapons um, that they use in battle. Um, I would just, like, basically cheat them in so that the characters would come with the weapons when they joined you. Um, as an example, there's a character called uh, Destin, not Destin, Debonair, and he has a blade, uh, it's like Notos or Euros or something, but um, it might be Sonic, I'm not sure, but uh, I'm just saying. Uh, what is it? There's a... No, let's do Fogel instead. Fogel has a, a blade called Zeppelos or whatever. It's like an evil blade. And if you defeat him but don't acquire him, he'll give you the blade when you return. But if he joins you, he doesn't have it. And it's things like that that kind of bother me. I, li I don't like that inconsistency. Um, and maybe it's a game balance thing, but... Anyway, this is Lance, and he is a knight... He just joined. And let's take a quick look at the difference in some stuff now. So we got we got some fighters from him. So look at Lance. He's got 72 strength, and these guys have 50-ish. So he has more agility, more intelligence, more luck, more alignment, more charisma. He's a he's just a much better character. The only thing is, is like if I was I would have buffed his health by maybe 10 or 20. Uh, maybe given him an extra 10 strength just to set him apart. Because even though he's got some strength, he's not terribly exceptional. And, um... Well, that's all by the by. We don't have to worry about that. But I think for this one, I'll do a little bit of save scumming just to see if I can... ...get a particular item. And the only reason I'm doing that is because... I'm not going to do that in the future when I find, you know, places for treasure. It's going to be really hard not to, but... Uh, just for this one... Just for this map, I'll probably do that just because we... Ugh. Trust me, it's it's just so... Ugh, thunder. Ugh. Oh, no. Okay. 
Musashi. Musashi, I think, is one of the most famous. Um, Japanese Ronin slash samurai to ever live. During the actual like maps and other places, we may uh, lower the speed just because we're we'll doing a lot of moving around. Physical and black and white. That is not a bad thing. Okay. Give me one second, I may. All right, today we're... I used to be a thing that listed all of the classes. Uh, but I guess we don't have that anymore. My plan with Destin is... Um, I've built him two ways as far as having this, um, as far as having this setup, um, where he's very strong, has good intelligence and whatnot. Uh, I have built him I built him basically being in the front middle and then having like samurai on each side with a healer and a uh, Valkyrie behind him. I've built him where he's in the front over here uh, with a griffin down here and then again Valkyrie and cleric in the back. You, you always want a cleric and a, it's something that does AoE almost always. Don't get me wrong, I love the idea of this Diana. It's just... Um, Maybe with the right weapon she'd be good, but generally speaking, a Muse, a Diana, a Dollmaster, a Lich, somebody that does AoE damage is always going to be preferable. So... <clears throat> ah. Anyway, I'm not sure, but it's either going to have like a Griffin and Destin with uh, two ladies in the back. Or put him in front with two um, samurai. Samurai are pretty good. They got a more balanced defense than the paladins, but I think that they have um, they're like more resistant to some things, less resistant to others. I wish I could find that. Um, it's almost like a all the read me's for in the lap of the gods. That stuff is it was online, and I don't. I don't know. I'll have to look for it at some point. Hmm. Just in case. Hmm. 
There we go. Okay. I actually found it. So here it is. Um, this kind of lists the new stuff for each person. So samurai, so like the paladin is actually weak, uh, very strong against black. Like you want to use them against somebody like an evil one or evil people, because that's what their job is. And the evil one is very strong against white. Um, but the paladins are weak against fire. The evil ones are weak against electric. Samurai, uh, a little bit less physical than both of them. More fire than paladin, less than evil one. Better cold than both, better electric than both. Um, pretty good white resistance, but their black is actually the weak one. Um... Beastmaster. They provide a bonus to beasts that they lead and also deal bonus damage to enemy beasts. So basically having... Uh, um, I think in the original game they actually made their monsters fight worse. Um, so there was a couple of bugs that they changed with that. But like... So Dollmaster, I'm actually going to get one of these guys pretty damn early. Liches used to attack three times in the back. Now they've done two times in the back because they were the best unit in the game by far. Um, Diana, that's a new class. Freya, that's, you know, two times thunder in the back. That's good. Monk, they're very, very important. Princess, very strong. Dragon Master. Um, anyway, they've, they've redone a whole lot of these guys. Um, Talos. They made them so they don't have as much HP growth as the Titans and the, you know, the Giants, but they have, uh, they have a ton of damage. Quake is insane. Uh... Anyway, like I say, I'm going to want to get a couple of Cerberuses, a couple of Titans, uh, Devils, Cockatrices, Worms, Krakens, Dragons. Oh, it's going to be good. And this is the thing that I want to talk about, which is new, too. Um, to basically become a leader, like they need charisma continuously increased, even if you're evil. If, even if you're evil, you need your charisma to be high. You know, if you're being evil, you need lower alignment. Uh, if you're being good, you need higher alignment, and so on and so forth. Um, interestingly, like you know, to become an evil one, you need to be zero. Uh, Dollmaster's got to be in the middle. Beastmaster's got to be on the middle, but on the low range. Mages can't go down to zero though. If you need to like bump them up. So that is a problem for a lot of them because they end up doing a lot of the damage. But I kind of need this guide mainly for the class designs just to, to, to build as I go along. And I'm sorry for distracting from the actual game. but um, And this is, this is the kind of thing I find fun is all the details and numbers and how to build the most... <sighs> the most effective army. So, and I've got a little bit of a conundrum too because uh, I like to have everyone in my party have the same level. Everyone here is level two, except Destin. So, So they're all going to get different kinds of levels. And I will say this interestingly, though. There's a lot of fun ways to build this. Like, I like to... I'm probably going to end up having Destin be a high-flying holy unit. You know, a Freya, um, a monk, and a cockatrice with him and a holy blade. And, uh... Um... 
Yeah. But you can do things where, like, if he's more of a, uh, if it's evil, or if he's more of a, you know, um, like a, depending on how you want to build him, you could have an alchemist in the back to do earth damage, or, I don't know. You could do a lot of fun things with him. But, uh, either like to have him leading soldiers, or having a flying beast to kind of help him, but, eh, it doesn't matter. I'm putting him in the front, though, because, uh, there we go, because, alright, and I, I have nothing against the items that I got, I kind of would want to do it over and over until I got something like the Euros and the... Some pretty insane, like, weapons, but that's okay. Um, also, as you probably guess, evil people fight better at night. Um, happy, like, good people fight better during the day. So, we're gonna go check out Warren. It seems you're prepared for the battle ahead. If you go to him earlier, he tells you to go and liberate towns, uh, you know, check for items, all that other good garbage. If you manage to defeat me, we will all follow you. Fight it out. Fight it out. So we should be able to slaughter him. We have six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven attacks. And here's all of the uh, cards that we got from uh, talking with Warren earlier. They do different things. Nice. And whoever kills him is going to get a buff as far as uh, their alignment. There we go. So the middle guy. Um, we're going to check and see what his alignment is after this, but it was around 46, I think, or maybe his charisma was at 46, I'm not sure. Nine grand, okay. So, save that, check out our unit. We just got a big army. So, yeah, 49, 50, everyone was 50, but then this guy got a little buff because he's the one that killed him. You don't really get an alignment boost unless you're the one that does the killing blow. So, this is Warren. And I am 90% sure I'm going to turn him into a Dollmaster. And try to find me another Golem because golems are actually good in this game. And um, I think we're gonna do some army organizing in the uh, in the next video. I could do it right now, but I kind of do a little bit of research and sh see where things are. Because um, I'm gonna need to start building my units up to kind of take on new special units in the future because um, you get a lot of uh, other characters so ugh. and I kind of have to I kind of have to make a little bit of a spreadsheet and plan for that which I didn't do I just got really excited but here's a griffin some octopuses Oh, good stuff. Nice. So. 49, 51, 49. 49, 51, 49. So these guys are actually stronger fighters than our other standard fighters at least in terms of base stats. So, yeah, we're going to do a little bit of finagling um, just to kind of sort everyone out. 
I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to organize it, but definitely going to need to organize. And... Okay. But we're going to do that next time, guys. So... Take a look at the army next time. Where's Warren? So this is Warren. He's a wizard. We're going to have to use him very sparingly early on because he's strong. He's going to do a lot of damage. Um, I'm not sure if I want to keep him as a wizard or upgrade him to a uh, doll master early. I am not sure, but we will see. But I got a lot of people to choose from. We got a, got a giant who their stats get amazing. Got a lot of healers. Um, a wild man. Yeah, we got we got a lot of work to do to organize all this crap. So that is what we're going to do. <coughs> In the meantime, we will play later, guys. <laughs>